the story behind Lucy. It was just a normal day for Lucy. She was going on a walk, looking at some of the cosmetics. She was looking at the playful stuff, the, the like the mace. She also loved playing with paper airplanes. It was normal for Lucy until she started playing with the mace. She got an electric shock through her. She felt strange, but so she just went home. She she was sitting on her couch until she realized she had a science project to finish. But then, that's where it all went wrong. She went down. And then she became tiny. She was so scared. She jumped down, tried not to touch the acid. Until she touched it. She hated the feeling of the acid and the electric, but then she fell into the pond. Well, she came back to normal. She, but it was different. She felt really weird. Like she didn't feel like normal. There wasn't any pain. So she just. Until it erupted. Then that's where disaster struck. She tripped over the Mentos, but almost fell in. It was too late. She couldn't make the jump. It was the last few seconds of her living. Or so she thought. She didn't know what to do. She was confused and scared. She thought this is the end. She thought she wasn't gonna live with no more. There's no more Lucy. That's what she was thinking. Until she fell in. She ended up in some strange area. There's a weird skeleton until she touched it and then got stuck. She was scared until she flew back and hit a wall. She was scared, so she started digging a hole, but she found her way down. She thought, I could finally escape. She made it, but it got even worse. She was tiny, forever. She was so scared. But the thing was, she could run really fast. So it wasn't really that bad, because she saw safety. She was a mouse hole. She was approaching the mouse hole and realized, where would it go? She was as confused. She still made her way in. She flew up, made it. She has never been so confused in her life. Lucy was confused if she liked or hated her new self. She thought it could be useful for many situations, but scary for a little girl. But she was a little girl. She 
but she was a little girl. She had many stuff ahead of her. So it was bad that she was just a little teeny weeny teeny baby until she disaster struck. She fell down. But she didn't feel anything. So she just continued her journey up the ladder. She was doing her favorite run. The Lucio run. Until she stopped. She found something strange happened. She wanted to leave. Until that one electric... That, until that one electric... That one electric strike, until that one electric strike hit her. She almost fainted, and then got back up. She was strong for her age. She was, she was 11 years old when this happened. She loved watching TV, but now is not the time. She had to escape. She was in a scary place for an 11-year-old, which has many stuff ahead. But luckily, she was a gorilla, so she knew how to climb. She found herself getting bigger and bigger as she walked. Until she grew again. As scared, she ran away to a different world. She... She was a good jumper. She knew how to jump really well. But it was night, so she went down the slide alone. Until she was a really good jumper, so she made it all the way up. Until she heard strange noises. I see you. So she got scared and ran. She was a little girl. Her life gonna end here. It was winter at the time. It was right before Christmas. She shouldn't. She couldn't die right before Christmas. Her parents are, have already got her gifts. So she ran to the competitive course until she kept running and running and running until she found a safe spot, so she jumped down. She was confused what it led to. As confused, she just walked down. She was hiding from the creatures that were trying to get her. She was in a safe spot now, so she was having fun climbing and jumping on the lily pads until I'm here. She sprinted for her life. As barely escaping, the creatures didn't notice where she was. They didn't even think she was down there. They didn't even know she was down there, which is good. So she ran away, far away from the monsters. Until she just fainted from the electric strike. She woke up in a chair with a thing on her head. She got electrocuted. <clears throat> she heard a voice say, Three strikes, you have two more. She had three more strikes until she died. She was scared. So she went to her favorite place, the forest. She was just branching along until she heard the strange voice again. But her and her family were going to the beach. 
So she sprinted where her family was. <coughs> and then it cracked. It was cracking and cracking. She didn't want to get blamed for it. So she sprinted back into the beach where her family was. Ran away from the, everything weird was happening. It was normal. Until she fainted. She woke back up. Strike two, she heard. She was horrified. She sprinted for her life. She was scared. She ne She didn't even want to go back to her house where she lived. Later that night, she was just climbing ropes. She was having fun. The thing is, she had no friends. She was sad. But since she was lonely, she got scared. She was just walk oh, she was just climbing and zip lining. Having fun. But then she realized she hasn't heard from her parents in a long time. She was wondering if her parents were okay. As terrified, she didn't want to go back home. She brought a lantern with her. But then she heard it. Coming. She She was terrified. She was as scarred. She ran for her life. She was terrified. She didn't want to lose her life just over a silly little demon chasing her. But then, she went another way because she felt something fishy. Lucy was terrified. She was just chilling at forest because her and her friend that unfortunately passed built a tree house. So she wanted to go pray at the tree house because she wanted the thing that was chasing her to run away. She wanted to be left alone. She was hiding in her tree house. She was hiding in her treehouse until she realized she heard this. I always know where you are. You're in that treehouse, little girl. So she confronted him. What are you going to do to me? What did I do to deserve this? Listen, come to the city. And if you come to the city, I will never hurt you again she was she wanted to she wanted to escape the thing that was chasing her so she confronted him and went until she felt that sick sickness again <sighs> look back up in the strange room why Strike three. I'm never going to touch you again. This is my last time. She fainted. She woke back up on the big cliff. She was pushed. That's where the unfortunate news happened. If you were part of Lucy's funeral and you're her friend or family, please follow me soon. We will take you to her tombstone. Lucy's dad was scared. Lucy's dad was sad. He drank his coffee. He was angry and furious. So, he was taken to Lucy's tombstone. Guys, say your prayers to Lucy's tombstone.
as this funeral comes to an end. You see, see, I hope you have an amazing time in heaven. I will miss you. You were my daughter. <sighs> if you made it to the end of the video, you are truly amazing. Also, if you enjoyed the video, I would like if you could like the video. And why not just subscribe? I'm close to 350 subscribers. Just click it. It's one button. You can't be scared. Alright guys, thank you for enjoying the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace out.